What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and I'm back with another EA Sports PGA Tour Career Mode Series video today. We are heading into the Masters at Augusta National Golf Club. We just came off the US Amateur Championship win, which automatically qualifies us as an amateur to play in the Masters Tournament and the US Open. So we have two major tournaments coming up before the Corn Ferry Tour Q School. And so a lot of exciting stuff. The great thing about the masters right now for this career mode series is that right alongside the in real life masters you are going to have a new career mode masters video every single day on the same days of the tournament so round one round two round three round four this week will be thursday friday saturday and sunday so be on the lookout if you're watching this as they're live for each new video and each round every day that is if we make the cut but we are definitely going to go out there and make the cut but let's go ahead and dive on in. Now, one thing I did do is I did increase the difficulty level for the AI. So they were at 50, which was where the game started us. But we kind of dominated that first tournament. I know we played well. So I, I moved them up for the major. And we'll see what 55 does. But if you all get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And if you're looking for more episodes in this series, check the full playlist I have linked in the, in, down in the description. It could be that the full series is already live. So, of course, it's the Masters Tournament Conditions. Four to seven miles per hour wind here. All right, let's check the leaderboard here. So, okay, Tom Hogue, minus six in the lead. Billy Horschel, Tony Finau had a great day. Love to see that. Cameron Young. So that makes out the top five. So my goal first round is to go out there and try to get to even or better. I, I know this course is going to be extremely tough. It's not going to be easy. So even or better, I think, is a good goal for these course conditions. Let's do this. What is it about this parcel of land, set deep amongst the Georgia pines, that draws us in so? Is it the beauty? Is it the color? Is it the sound and the breezes? Is it the history? It's all of that. Everything together makes this place special. This is Augusta National. This is the Masters. Now, earlier this morning, one of the Masters' cherished traditions, the honorary starters out there to get the tournament underway. Golf's preeminent global ambassador, Gary Player, a three-time Masters champion, got him started and finished with that classic leg kick. Jack Nicklaus, of course, six-time Masters tournament winner, one of the game's greatest icons, synonymous with Augusta National. And Tom Watson, Masters champion in 1977 and 1981. I can tell you that all three, not surprisingly, knocked it in the fairway to the delight of the patrons assembled. It was then that the Masters tournament was officially declared underway. From the Augusta National Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia, EA Sports so proudly presents the Masters. Today, we begin this annual Rite of Spring amongst the blossoming azaleas and dogwoods, live opening round coverage of this tradition that is truly unlike any other. This is gonna be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one. The leader is Tom Hoagie. He's off to a good start at six under. Meanwhile, our featured golfer, ready to begin the quest for a green jacket. Here we go. What an epic introduction and presentation. That was amazing to see the legends out there. Wow. That's so awesome they put that in the game. But it's time to focus up. We know what we need to do. Let's play some golf. Seven mile an hour cross headwind here. Let's put it in the fairway. Yeah. 
Not a bad first swing to be nervous. And we Always hit the fairway on the first tee. Out of the way, and that is a good Cheers, start everybody. To Masters week, a tee shot in the fairway to begin this first round. Right around 180 to go for his second. So, of course, I have coffee with me for the major. And one thing I will say, I was able to change a few capture card settings. So hopefully the colors are coming through a little bit better here in the video. Uh, so I know it was looking a few of the few of the the first few videos kind of looked a little too bright. Uh, so I was able to change a few things and I think it looks a lot better now. We're left 180. Fans, can you settle down here? <laughs> 180 uphill 19. I love the seven iron in hand here. If we can hit it right into that slope, the wind is really going to kick that ball over. Not a bad swing. Swing plane was good. Oh, that's beautiful. What a start. And the Masters, it's going to roll down yet. Yeah. It's going to... It's going to happen. Can't really complain. We have... Okay. <laughs> Settle down, Ryan. I mean, it's not like you made it. Iona Steven is at the first green. This for birdie. And this is the celebration. sort of situation you want to find yourself in looking at an uphill putt but dead straight. What kind of celebration was that from Ryan? 31 feet uphill two. Silence the fans. You just want to silence the fans. All you got to do is just address the ball. It's uphill two feet. This thing's going to be tough to get the speed right. I'm going to aim to about 50, 51, maybe even more, 52. Greens are quick, though. It's it's left, it's left, right to left, left to right, then right to left. I don't think this thing is breaking too much. I think it is going to be more left to right than right to left. Get in. You got to hit it. I had a feeling when I lined up for that that I needed to put more. I knew it. But it's also one of those things I didn't want to fly off the back of the green. So we don't want to start at the bogey. Well done. That is in for a par here at the first. And he'll stay at level par. It's four rounds. We got to play smart. Like, there's a lot of golf left. Moving on to the 575-yard par-5 second at Augusta National. One of two par-5s on this first nine. Reachable in two for many in the field, but the green is protected by large, deep bunkers. So awesome to, to play the Masters. It's been a long time to be able to play the Masters in a video game. And this is just epic. Like, Masters week of, with Masters in the game at the same time. What a week. Just going to send this ball. Went for the overswing. The fast is going to be just fine. Gorgeous. And this is going to be a good result. It's going to catch that slope a bit and keep getting better here at hole number two. Three hundred and thirteen carry there. So we had, this is such a mean pin location. Two eleven downhill twenty nine. The question is, do we just kind of put it out to the right? I don't think we can stick this ball there. Ryan does not have a lot of control on his shots at all. I don't think, and I don't want to be in that bunker. I think we play well. I think I'd rather have a chip long. I'm going to do it. A little bit of loft as well. It's going to probably be too far. I'd rather be far than short. That's not a bad swing. Beautiful. Well, Beautiful. The distance right just a little bit offline to the left. And so, a little bit left too with this third shot. 
I knew it was going to fly too far. Now, this is going to be a tough shot. Could either chip this or pitch it. I think we've got to chip it. I don't know if we'll be able to get this thing to stop, though. That That's the thing. It might be worth... We don't have the Texas Wedge unlocked. This would be a good spot for the Texas Wedge. I think we've got to chip this, lend it short, and hopefully we get it to stop. Too much? That's so unfortunate. Maybe I should have went with the pitch shot. Still can't putt it. Now we've got to chip it. We have to make this, I think. I knew I had to barely hit that, which is why I did the big Not underswing. That, one, that was actually perfect distance. Trouble from there. You need to be very delicate on these greens, so all things considered, I think you'll take that. I will take a par. It, it's unfortunate to leave this hole. That with a par, a par. I, the second, and I, he'll stay at even par. I think in round number two, we're gonna lay up to the middle of the green, which pin location will be different. It'll be the Friday pins, the but short par four third, only 350 yards. I think one of the more underrated holes on this golf course. We know those five pars plus the twelfth on that second nine get so much attention, and rightly so. But this is a wonderful hole, strategic, and you need some touch here. Presentation is really good. Morning round at the Masters. What a moment. I'm, we just got to put it in the fairway. We're hitting fairways today. Great swing. Just a little bit on the fast and overswing, which is not a big deal. And that will do just fine. So based on your player stats, that gray region it shows... Uh, when you're aiming the shot, your ball on a perfect could land anywhere in that here. zone. Now a short one for his second. And then when you're off off swing, of course, it's a lot of times going to land outside of that zone. We've got to pitch this. We're left with 48 yards uphill five. I just want to make sure we don't land this short. I'm actually going to aim, because of the elevation, I'm actually going to aim right at the hole. That's beautiful. The camera did something weird there. That's a great shot. I did not want to have to chip. Okay, sensible play right there. And that one on deck. 15 feet away. 15 feet, downhill three, steady left to right. This thing's breaking a lot. I'm going to play it pretty safe, actually. I know, I know I'm playing a lot of break. I don't think it's going to break this much. Well, yeah, let's take a little bit off. I just did not want to send it okay, off the green. Okay, not a bad read there on the left to right. It just comes up a little short. That was a safe putt. I think, though, in round number one, it's okay to be a little conservative, so though. Safely in. It's a par here at the third. And he'll remain right where he is. That's a dream start, honestly. Three pars, this is tough. This is now really tough. An excellent par three. This requires a solid, pure strike. You can't fake it on this hole, and you're happy to walk away with three. Next up, the stout par three fourth here at Augusta National, measuring 240 yards. Middle to long iron is the play here, but accuracy is key with the two bunkers protecting the front of that green. This is tough. We're let, so 237 downhill 32. My initial instinct tells me in this six mile an hour headwind, I think we're looking at a three iron. Oh, the wind. Look at the wind swirling. All right. So we don't know what the wind just keeps swirling. It's 
swing plane was so bad at the end. That had the distance. Uh, that one didn't want to come around. It's into the bunker. Left I hooked of it this fourth green. straight left at the end. Now from the bunker. Just a little splash out on this path, right? Only with the blast. I think that's the only bunker shot we have. It is. Too much. It's not bad. There's a wide range at that. Uh, you that saw the accuracy. That happens sometimes coming out of the bunker, and that scoots right on by. There's a wide range of where Brian's perfect was going to land anyway, so it could have been short. It could have been far. It's 13 feet downhill six. The biggest adjustment for where I play a lot of PGA 2K, the biggest adjustment is putting because the grid lines are not the same at all. It, much different. So if you play them the same, you're going to miss a lot of putts. It's 13. I'm going to get it pretty aggressive here. I'm going to go about 10. And send this in. I had a feeling it was going to break more. Over swinging fast. I was getting aggressive though. That speed, I know it was an aggressive line, but that's going to be a bogey. Yeah, that's well done though. It is plenty of golf left. Like, three. hey, no need. We got four rounds. Two one over par. We made a mistake with the with the pull off the tee. The swing plane was a hook at the end. We're in 28th place, though. The old course at St. Andrews, the 495-yard par 4 fifth. This is an excellent par 4, second longest at Augusta National. Uphill slightly and dogleg to the left. Beautiful. Yes, beautiful. 282 yards. Just got to put this in the fairway. We can score. Beauty. Tempo is either we're, we've got it down. We're either yeah, a little nice bit fast the result is, or right on. Going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Ryan likes that. Kind of wish it didn't show your golf for each time. Second shot. You know, Ryan makes some interesting facial expressions. I kind of wish it would show the course or maybe I don't know anything but Ryan's facial expressions. <laughs> 190 downhill five if we can land this right on this slope my hope is that it bounces up six mile an hour wind gonna come off to the left on the lie angle as well it's a good swing a little bit too much and that wind added a little bit more distance as well. Still a good shot. Not a bad place to miss. Yeah, I'm pitching this one. We, we tried the chip earlier. We can make this 12 yards. Problem is it's all moving downhill. So we've got to strike this to perfection. That's a very nice shot. Really sent that thing to the left. We need to work on Ryan's control. Control is going to be key on short game. And putting as well. Beauty. Yeah, that's good putt. It is a par here at the fifth. I'm going to drink some and coffee. I know one. it wasn't a birdie. But hey, get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. They'll, and call on the birdie train, please. We make our way now to the 180-yard par 3 sixth, second par 3 on the first nine here at Augusta. Elevated tee looks down on a two-tiered undulating green that will absolutely test you. I'll be happy to break even, though. This is this extremely difficult, right? Which we knew it would be. 190, downhill 24. 
I'm gonna go with the seven iron. You can see the wide range of this accuracy. It could go <laughs> pretty far out of the way. Beautiful. A little bit of an underswing, but I think that's fine in this wind. Hold. Gorgeous. Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round. Let's go. That's a big time shot. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. Ball coming downhill from the top side of the hole, but shouldn't be that much break in it. Yeah, 17 feet downhill four. Honestly, these seem. I need to aim about four feet less with this. So I'm going to go 13 and the silence the fans for a second. Because these greens are quick. It's a steady right to left. I'm going to go about a half grid over. May not break this much. Pretty solid distance. It was a safe putt. I was afraid of the hill behind it again. You, round one, got to be conservative. Look at the slope that we risk. If we overhit that putt, that thing's all the way down off the front of the green. So I know we want to hit more putts, and we will. We just Safely have to be careful. <laughs> here at the sixth, and he'll stay right where he is. You want weekend golf? You have to ask yourself that question, and yes, I do. On to hole number seven. It is a par four at an even 450 yards in length. Anything into the pine trees running the length of the fairway can oftentimes lead to a bogey or worse with the three front bunkers preventing any thoughts of running one up to the green. Here we go. 450. 282, we just had this win, we can crush this ball. Our first perfect drive of the day, I believe, tempo-wise. We've been right on it. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. That's the thing about this game. Fairways are easy to hit. It's the other From shots location, that make this game more difficult. To the par four. Yeah, you can find the fairway off the tee 90% of the time. I feel like maybe not 90, but we found it a lot. This is such a tough pin location. We're looking at 119 uphill 20. Do we even attack this? I think we, I think we play it, we attack it, but also play it a little bit safe. Under swing. That's a big miss. That's got you live to and you be learn. Disappointing. Good line. The fairway and the approach winds up in a bunker. This is the worst case scenario. Yeah, a awkward little bunker shot. Just splash it out. Let the ball run towards the flag. <sighs> we just have to get this thing out. 86, 96 percent lie is pretty good. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Like, yeah. Oh, wait. Is that on the fairway? Uh, just too tough to control out of the sand. That one unable to hold. I don't the think green. we can It'll put it. Into the short stuff. So in this game, the only way you can put it is when you get to putting level three to be able to use the Texas wedge. And, well, here we go. <laughs> Guess we're chipping it. It's not bad at all. So a good shot there and likely going to limit the damage if he can finish Should that another off. Bogey, at though. this point, you're just looking to make sure you don't make things any worse. Too many unforced one, forced yeah. errors. It is a bogey here at the seven. And that's going to move him back to two over par. Plenty of golf left. Hey, I'm not worried. Bogey's going to happen, right? What do I always say? Get on and move on. Eight here at Augusta. We got this. this. Uphill, 570 yard par five. Avoid the fairway bunker off the tee and reaching into is definitely a possibility. 
We, yeah, we need to get aggressive here. This is when we start getting aggressive. We need some birdies. We're bird flirting with the missed cut. There's just still a lot of players left to play. Be the one. The slow is going to take off some distance, but we got the overswing to cancel it out. Yeah, Beautiful. that will get a little bit of run. That will be just fine. Ryan's fired up. 255, uphill 61. It's three, a three wood is the play. I say we go for this. One time. And then cut left. We can chip this in. That was a Not gorgeous sure golf shot. That's big. That three we're trying to get home to this par five and two, but still in the ball game for a birdie. That's big. Six yards left. It's a very similar chip shot to what we just had. This would be a huge eagle. Everybody, you know what to do. Drop your one times. Drop your one times. In a comment, say them out loud. One times help Ryan score in all the sports on the channel. Too much. I mi I just miss miss just miscalculated that one. Big time. But plus, there's that so wide slide. gray area, right? right. We got to work on our control. gonna break much honestly we're gonna hit this i'm getting aggressive i know it's downhill nope I could a mile the from the previous hole but no dice there still making so many mistakes and a lot of that comes from being used to the grids in pga 2k 23 right and these are obviously not the same grids okay and it's just a matter of getting used to them here at the eight. should have been an easy birdie and he'll remain at two over par we have such we i mean the first nine with the such tough a tough part of the course 60 yard left. Par for known for a treacherous three-tiered green that slopes sharply from back to front approach shots here that don't have enough carry could also wind up rolling a good 30 40 yards or so back down the hill just got to stay focused right stay focused play our game don't think we already the wind's gonna add a natural draw. We don't really have to get carried away here. Beauty. Shot shaping changes the angle of the swing, so I don't use very much draw and fade yet right now. Yeah, that is a wonderful tee shot. Right where you want to be here at hole number nine. That's the thing in this game from the fairway the tee we shots with no are the easiest part everything else is location, not easy is especially putting the green you can use the backstop behind the hole or make sure you get at least 19 yards into the green or it will come off the front so it, it seems like they tried to recreate wind right as far as in the voice one thing that i notice as well i don't know if you all have noticed but the trees don't move in the wind at least i haven't seen them move yet Something that I've noticed in the background. It's not a big deal to me. Like, it's not a deal breaker or anything. But, um, I have noticed that. I like the shot. It might come up short, but... Yep, that was what I was afraid of. Up I knew the uphill. Oh, dear. Is that going to get up? But you all know no, what I was afraid of. Will the sand. And goodbye. That's gonna roll a mile. Maybe we're All playing too conservative. From this green. For round number one. Let's start maybe getting a little more aggressive. Do we flop this? No. Not runner. It's gotta be pitch. Got to get it up on this slope, uphill 13 feet. Mm. 
beautiful. That's clutch. Oh, we needed shot. that. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Set down fairly quick as well. Good shot. There's no gimmies though. In there for par at the ninth. And that will be a two over score of 38 on this first nine at Augusta National. Two over is not bad at all. I mean, Tom Hoag still at the top, but honestly, Second nine begins with that's a not bad. 495 yard par four featuring a 60 yard long center bunker short of the green. The first hole until 1935, number 10 traditionally plays harder than any other hole here at Augusta National. Here we go. If you all ever hear like bangs into the mic, not bang, like a little kind of, I don't know. A bump or a ting. That's because my dog is sleeping right by the desk. Sometimes she'll like, she's a big dog. It's 80 pounds. And she'll sometimes roll over and like smack the desk and the whole desk shakes. <laughs> so that's Kelsey either telling me good luck or maybe saying hello to you all. Put this in the fairway. We've got the tempo down right now. It's feeling good. But it's not about the tee shots in this game. Man, is that going to catch the slope? Yes, it will. Down the hill it goes. Wonderfully done to begin this second nine. It's about the rest. Wind coming from his right as he gets set for his second. 162 downhill 19. I'm going to actually go with the nine hour. It's going to fly probably around seven yards further around. The wind's going to really pull it. Great swing. Beauty. That's big. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Now this Ryan. for birdie at 10. Ryan's face yeah, expression. He's got to get just right. It's a tough putt moving back to his right. 16 feet. Level putt. When I say level as regards to up and down hill, but it is. Breaking quite a bit left to right. That one just gonna sneak Great right read. Down. My instinct told me a little bit more. Instinct told me a little bit more, but didn't follow my instincts. So that's in for par to start this backside. Wow, and I love this fight, though. Right where he is. This is probably when this game's going to be the most fun. When your player's not the best overall, you're battling for, to, to get even par. We move along to hole here at Augusta National. Now at 520 yards, a par four. This tee box shifted a bit to the left in 2022, which lengthened the hole a good 15 yards, so that now navigating a tee shot down the right side brings more risk into play beautiful just don't hit it in the water please please ryan whatever you do don't hit it in the water put it to the right let the wind pull it back beautiful Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Water left and long. This such a is tough golf hole. Real life, I just lay up there to the right and probably lay up again. So we are left with 230, downhill 23. Gotta play it away from the water. Water could end our tournament. I don't know about you all, but I don't want to lose. I don't want to end our tournament. It's a good swing. It's a safe shot, right? And at the end of the day, my goal was to not land it in the water. We're an amateur, right? You don't well, want to do anything crazy. Into the second cut.
Pitch it about five yards. Let's go about five yards short. No, a little bit more because it's all rolling downhill. This second cut. Such a good shot, though. Stay on the fringe, please. Don't make me chip it. Thank you. Well, that was nearly very good. Just the speed of the green taking that one away. Definitely putting. So it's left to right, right to left. Honestly, I think this is going to play mostly straight in. Going to get aggressive. I'm about three yards. Three, I mean, three feet long. Actually, going to go a little bit more left to right than right to left. We'll see. So what we couldn't see the line where the grid was. But wait, I think. Sh yeah, I, I still don't. That's not what I saw. Safely in. Yeah, it's a bogey here at number 11. That's not what and I saw. Slide back now to three over par. But it happened, right? We need some birdies here. Three over is not bad here at Augusta National, but we Welcome we to are the close to getting cut. Five yard par three, twelve. Maybe the most famous par three in the world. Hogan's Bridge, Ray's Creek. You're familiar with all the names. A bunker in front of the green and two behind. Club selection and trying best as you can to gauge the wind. Absolutely critical. Yeah, so this is... The wind's going to be spinning and we can see it moving. 155. Whatever you do, Ryan, do not put this in the water. I'm going to go with the 9-iron. Try to hit it quick because the wind is going to shift. Get up, get up! Nah, a little too cautious there. Maybe that was eight, didn't wind up six in the inches green. away from Instead, being perfect. It is in the bunker short of this 12th hole. Okay, look at this. Beautiful. Looking to splash this softly onto the green. If we can blast this close. Too much. Still a good shot. I may have been a little more sunken in than we had thought, but all in all, not a bad shot out of the bunker. These are the ones you have to make, though, right? These are the ones you've got to make. Not breaking much at all. And this step Beautiful. There, it is a par here at 12. We have a couple par and fives left. Steady. We can and score. Plus three. We're going to be fighting for the cut day two. We're in 54th place. Number 13. This is regarded by most as the greatest par five in the world. Why the risk reward that's involved and all the history that's been written here at this wonderful hole. <laughs> we know what we need to avoid here. It's just don't hit it in the creek, right? And to do that, the wind is helping us. So I'd say we just, we don't do fancy shot shaping. We just put it in the fairway. This one's starting a little left off the tee. Beautiful. Beautiful tempo to that swing. And this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Here we go. I think we go for this, as crazy as that sounds. I don't even think it sounds crazy. Get the three iron out. Send it underneath the trees. Feet are below the ball. It's going to come off to the left. The wind's going to pull it back, though. I say we go for this. The problem is if it hits the tree. Please don't hit the tree. Great tempo. Oh, this could be trouble. Oh! Oh, that's a big mistake. You cannot come up short here at 13, and that ball's going to need to be fished out of Ray's Creek. I think it hit the tree. Target line. 
Point of entry. Let's go point of entry. So now, the drop the animation. Drop this is going to be his fourth shot into this. Part That's five. awesome. <laughs> I hate that we had to drop it, but at least we got to see the animation. Wake up, Ryan. There's plenty of golf left. We just have to focus on our game. We land this about right here. It should roll up. Over interesting view. Get a good view of Creek. Gorgeous. That's clutch. This is a tough hole today. And just inside 10 feet after that short shot. So still working very hard to make par. Yeah, it's not going to break much though. Well judged. That is in for par here at 13. Any day you hit in the creek right and still par is. is a good day. Cheers for that, everybody. Get your coffee. We have not had a birdie yet here at Augusta. On to the 440-yard par 4 14th, the only hole at Augusta National without a single bunker. The terrace green is the challenge here. This 14th hole at 440 yards is a good one. The real challenge here is, is the green. Two-time Masters champion Ben Crenshaw considered this to be one of the most difficult in golf. Wow, I, I, I love the, the commentary and presentation here in the major is just so well done. Look at the grandstands. Everybody's ready to see one thing. Birdie. I felt that. It was a little bit too slow, but it's not a big deal. Just a little bit slow. And that a good shot up the hill and into the fairway at 14. The swing mechanics are so much different to PGA 2K as far as the fast and slow and how they behave. It's more of From distance control. Let's go to Noda. The most attractive feature of this hole is the dynamic design of the green cut into three separate sections guarded by an amazing false front where the ball will come all the way off the front edge. I'm going to do a finesse shot pitching wedge here. Yeah, it's more about your shot setup and distance control in this game versus the fast and slow tempo pga 2k 23 the fast and slow still matters but it more affects the distance and also your players accuracy and control really play a key factor in it as well that's beautiful but we have to make a pot on deck that's the main thing but from that distance really don't want to Leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. 23 feet, downhill nine. I'm not going to play this as... Si yeah, I'm going to go... 23, I'm going to go about nine short. Around there. I don't think this is actually breaking as much as it shows. Because it's going to come back pretty quickly. Double breaker. Get in! Yes! Nah, the pace. Get in there! Perfect there. Down the slope. It's in for a birdie. Could be a cut making birdie right there. Cheers for that birdie, everybody. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. That was huge. We come now to the instantly recognizable hole number 15. It's called Firethorn. Traditionally, it has been the second easiest hole on the course, behind only number 13. But it was lengthened in 2022 with an extra 20 yards added on making that potential carry over the pond with a second shot that much tougher. Yeah, it's a scary shot. We're going to have to probably play this pretty pretty safe. We already found the creek. Ooh, great swing. Great swing. Wanted a little bit more overpower off the tee. Wait. Did we hit a tree? We did, didn't we? From the fairway, we check in with Noda. I think said it carried two ten, right? Looking at the second shot in golf, but don't let the beauty fool you. There is trouble everywhere. We actually hit the tree, I guess. I guess I messed up on the. Uh, maybe I pulled it. You hate to see it. 
but at least that we don't have to mess with the water very much so that's kind of a plus third shot looking for a good one 120 downhill three we can get this 50 degree wedge see if we can put this one close i actually really like this club It's a beautiful swing. Not enough. The slow killed us. Minus 1.1. Still a good shot. And a good iron shot. Just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish. But still. So awesome. A look at birdie here at 15. And this really is all about visualization. You've got to see the line in your head, pick out a spot, maybe a foot, foot and a half in front of you and aim for that. All right, thank you, Iona. I was hoping you'd give me the read. 28 feet uphill six. I'm gonna aim about 34 feet. I think it's gonna break very much. Not up this slope. Didn't get the speed right anyways. Good effort. I, you, I, I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. And just playing okay, the Masters. Like, this is epic. This is epic. Right where he is. And this has been a battle. Like, this has been not easy at all. We crushed the amateur championship, but... 53rd place. Part 3, 16th here at Augusta National. Bad and for so a cut. many of the most indelible moments in the history of the sport happen right here at this short par 3. Ryan's going to be making history as we move in. Imagine if we battle to the top 25 or something like that. That's a stretch, but you never know. 190, uphill 5. We've got to probably put the 6 iron here. Yeah, it went way to the left in the accuracy spot. That one was running so hot. We got to improve our player, right? Ryan Gamer's an amateur. I think we pitched this over Chip. The only thing that worries me is rolling it out too much. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful touch. That swing plane. Did you all see that finish there? That was... Uh, be a five foot putt here. That was interesting. It wasn't my greatest display of, of shot accuracy. Okay. That was a knee trembler. That one get away. It is a par here at 16. And he'll stay right where he is. Never can complain. Never going to complain about a par on this golf course. 16 under 55th Next up, place. Next up, the par 17th, measuring 440 yards. The Eisenhower tree, you may remember, was removed in 2014 after being damaged in an ice storm. But challenges remain, especially the green, which seems to slope off in just about every direction. We need a birdie, though, as well, depending, because we don't know what the rest of the field is going to do. We need a birdie. That's a good swing. Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Now, note of his second from the fairway. 143 yards left to the hole. Pin is on the front left part of the green. 143 uphill seven. Five mile an hour tailwind. Itching wedge on that slope. Good swing. Bit much. It's still a good swing. I didn't want to land too short and he roll all the way That's back down the slope. Shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. 
I wish you could actually skip that cutscene. I wish you could just go straight to the next shot. 19 feet uphill, one inch. It's gonna be right to left and then back the other way. I don't think it's breaking very much though. I was right. I was, I was right that it wasn't breaking much, but it broke a little more. No problems there. They need to patch the putting animation. I know you all have noticed it, but like, you hit the top of the ball a lot of times. But not only that. We arrive just, now I don't know. It's just, it's just off. Putting holes in golf. Four hundred sixty-five yards. Putting animations yard, off. Par four, eighteenth at Augusta. Uphill, dogleg right. Two bunkers at the left elbow of the fairway, and two greenside bunkers protecting a two-tiered green. Quite a sight. We're sitting two over. First round as an amateur at Augusta National. It is time to come in clutch with the birdie here in first round of the Masters. Yeah, the putting animation, I feel like, and also the putter kind of disappears at times, if you all have noticed, if you pay attention. I feel like it's something they could easily patch. And another thing, the slow backswing. The slow backswing. So it's, it's way too slow. And this going to come down. That's not bad. Second cut's going to be fine. Second cut. So likely no chance to spin this one as he gets set for his second at 18. I think up the hill, I think we go six iron. Land it on the green and kind of roll it up. Not bad at all. I expected the uphill to play a little bit more than that. Too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. But again, it plays so much different in 2K23, and that's just and the whole 2K golf club series. So it's just getting used to the new game, how the uphill lie affects. 18 yards downhill two. It's this. Let it roll up. I didn't realize this all was this long. Uh, we long, just have short, no spin. Here we go. We in. have no oh. spin. Uh, this would be an unbelievable. I I even like underswung ball. that, and I knew it was a downhill lie, right? So it sent it, but we got also the furthest spot on Ryan's accuracy. And we sent that. That could be a cut missing shot. Jerry, where were you on that one? There's Jerry. We finally get a look at the caddy. What were you doing on that one, Jerry? This might be the biggest putt of Ryan's career. It's uphill three feet, which means we've got to go like a lot. 36 feet further around. About like 87 up the slope. E8 to be sh a little bit safe. Drop your one times, everybody. We need a huge one time make right here. One time. What yeah, a putt. Come up short on what a putt. Point. That's a decent effort. That was, we, we got ourselves in a tough situation. Course management is key. Strokes are not lost off the tee on this game. They are lost everywhere else. Road shots, the green. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is hey, finished three off. over. I know the goal was like even. That, he'll fall to three over par. <laughs> 59. So round of golf, we are in the cut line. Our featured golfer has played before. That first round as an amateur, 
at Augusta National. So many things can be achieved at the amateur level, Rich, but as you've just detailed, to get to go down Magnolia Lane, perhaps stay in the crow's nest, but more importantly, play in your very first Masters. Very first Masters, I think Ryan Gamer played great. Three over par on the first round, a lot of mistakes. Played pretty conservative overall, but maybe should have been more aggressive. But at the end of the day, you can't redo the round, right? We, we kept with the strategy. And overall, I think there's a lot of positives to take away. I think Ryan needs to dial it in a little bit more on the approach shots, especially short game. Chipping, pitching was really not on par today, and it showed. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what the cut is, and also see if we got some skill points as well. Because we should have skill points. Okay, so we have... Oh, wow. Yes. Level up. So two skill points. We are now level 16. That's huge. So we're going to spec into probably putting and maybe control. Let's take a look at these stats as well before we do that. So you can look. Okay. So average drive distance. We are crushing it. This is amateur though. This is not compared to the pros. This is compared to the other amateurs. Approach to green. So proximity hole is not showing for some reason. It says zero. That's not true. So maybe these stats are actually not accurate. Hard save, sand save, longest pot. Eight. Yeah, I don't think these seem to be accurate right now. Scoring average might be accurate, actually, 66. Scoring total seems accurate as well. That's accurate. One event, four rounds. That, this is for the amateur. So what's the cut? That's the question. What is the cut? And I know we'll see it once we dive into the vent. My guess is the cut's probably going to be two over, or three over, four over maybe. But let's improve Ryan. Probably need to spec into putting a little bit because we haven't yet. And we need, yes, we need to unlock the Texas Wedge. We have six skill points. It's going to cost four we need to unlock that ability to putt from the fairway and fringe. So there we have it. Bronze, Texas Wedge. We have two more skill points to spend. Or I think it's got to be accuracy on short game. Increases the miss hit tolerance window. Decrease the impact of off plane swings and decreases the shot dispersion of all short game. Yep. Got to do it. So we upgraded it to two. And we'll spend more as we get them. Okay, so there we have it. There's Ryan Gamers loadout right now. We unlocked the Texas Wedge. A little more control in the short game. But it will be time to dive in to the Masters Round 2 in the next one. So stay tuned to the channel to see Round 2. You're going to see it the day after this one goes live. So the week of the Masters, you're going to see Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. A round of the Masters of Ryan Gamer in his amateur season. But you all are awesome. Thank you for watching this to the end. I know it's a little bit longer episodes here when we are in the majors and four rounds, right? But if you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more and check the full playlist down in the description. It could be that the full series is already live. And also, Ryan's a multi-sport athlete on the channel. Right now, ongoing career modes, EA PGA Tour, PGA 2K23, NBA 2K23, WWE 2K23, and it will be the show 23. So he's a busy athlete, but I will see you all in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.